Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to make a miniature beach and freeze. Please stay till the end because there are small features that you need to know to make this miniature. Alright, first thing what you need is felting foam, felting needle. As you can see I'm using a thicker felting needle that is shorter so this will make you easier to make this miniature. Now I will make, first thing I will do, I will make legs. So when I make legs, I always make them like a little bit uh, more like um, not so strong because I will make them just to make sure that they are not too big for the body because I always take a little bit um, off because it's very important so the legs are not very bulky. So now I just making them like all four of them and then I will make also the body. The body is not very big because when you add the legs the dog uh, start, starts looking a little bit bigger. Now all four legs are ready and let's make a body and now you just make, take a little bit and just wrap it like oval and then just felt it and not, not very very strong but a little bit stronger than those legs. So there, then we will add uh, the legs to the body and the body will be bigger. Time for the dog's head. What you do is also take a small piece and also wrap it around, like round. And then you will have to hold. The other place, like the end, it needs to be loose. It doesn't need to be like for the body, everything is felted. This will be loose. So you just keep with fingers and just felt it around so to make like a round head. But the other part is loose because the other part we will stick it to the body after. take legs and let's make those legs smaller so what we will do we just felt them stronger together and if we see that they're too much like too much wool we take something off but you need to check if those legs are too big so what you need to do is just uh, one by one make them harder and then when they will be harder you will have to stick them to the body take the body this is head so we will take the body and then you just put these legs on the body so what you do this side that is open you just make it like in circle form take this wool and on all sides and then felt it on the body and try to keep with both fingers uh, so until you felt it on the body and then you just continue until it's felted If you want to make sure that legs are shorter you need to felt them 
and use like in the middle uh, and down like and this is how they're going to shrink so the dog will not have very tall legs also the legs will be more harder and this dog will stand very easy so remember this will take at least like uh, eight ten minutes <music> and you see this open side so just spread it on all sides and then put it on the body and put it in an angle not like 90 degrees as you can see here just in an angle and then felt it so it needs to be a little bit on one side so it's looking natural like dogs have <music> When you have done the head, remember you need to make also uh, the tail. So we will take a small piece for the tail and we may also, one side will be open, another side we will make it like a little bit sharp, like a small tail. So just make it uh, more hard and then we will put the other side after, but for now just make a small tail. time to make uh, ears so what we will do we'll make ears they need to be very small so you just take a small piece from the white wool another thing what you need to do is you need to make it like a little bit like uh, from all sides from one side and another until it's like flat but it needs to be a little bit like oval you have to measure with your small finger it's usually really small like your small finger and before you felt it on the head so you need to make them uh, proportional because we will felt them on the head so make the other side open and we will felt this open side that is fluffy on the animal's head <music> this uh, white wool and this will be 
the face, like the face for the dog. And you make the same as you make like tail, but just bigger because the other side will add on the face. And also, as you will see later, that it's not looking straight, but a little bit down. So the angle is down. So this uh, face then look, the face of the dog look natural. what you need to do is take the tail now as you can see I'm trying to spread it but more on one side so why this because this for the bottom of the dog sometimes it doesn't look good whereas the legs are together so this will cover this wool will cover this in between the legs and this will look better because there will not be like legs not will look at the end where this line where they are felt so we will as you can see we will felt it also in the angle not very straight and the other part of wool, we will just cover these uh, felted parts for the legs.
time to cover a little bit of wool. As you can see here, it's not really nice looking. There's places where are the lines where you put like uh, in the front, for example, you can see there is two lines, not very good. So if you want to cover them, just take a small piece of white wool and felt it very lightly on. And you will see there is nothing left, left no lines that are looking bad. And then the dog will be more polished. finished already legs and there are no lines where we can see now the thing is the back because if you want the back to be uh, the same and a little bit looking like back we need also to add a piece of wool so the back is nice looking Alright, so this is the last part. If you have seen all the parts until now, you should be able also to make uh, this little miniature's face. So what do you do? You just wrap in between your fingers and then maybe you can divide in two parts similar and then just uh, put them on the face like two little uh, round buttons and then just felt them and when you felt they're gonna get a little bit smaller if you feel they're too small just add a little bit more wool do the same thing wrap in between your fingers and then just spread it like and you can and then add for one eye and then you can add the same for another eye so you just need a little bit of the black wool and also you'll need to use this uh, for uh, for the face for the nose like when you put this nose also in the front but just a little bit bigger use a little bit more wool and make it more oval and if you are able to to look at it and if you see like the face is not uh, as you like you can add a little bit more or take something away you can put it before you put it on this miniature face you can put and look if you like it you can felt it if you don't you can take just something off or add something more Thank you for watching this video, I hope it helped and now you can go and make yourself a miniature dog.